Okay, here it is. This is the one that everybody's been waiting for. This is my near mint 1965 RCA Roundy. This television has not yet been turned on since 1991. I've rigged up this contraption with this light bulb cut into this extension cord to buffer the TV if it has a dead short. I've even hooked up the matching Rembrandt vintage antennas, which look great on top of this TV. This thing will even work for another four months. It does have a little bit of screen halo, a little bit of delaminating in the PVA fungus, but not bad, and I think it was like that. New Vista Color. Looking online, I've come up with this configuration where there's two knobs at the bottom is a 1964 or 65. In 66 there was three knobs down there. The bulb is lit. should dim down a little bit as the TV warms up. See anything happening? TV full juice for a second. Ooh, I can't. We almost lost a yard. The long trip to the Beavers, they said from Corvallis to Eugene, it's about an hour's drive. Then it's about a five hour flight to Harrisburg. That made it work almost like an instant on. From here by bus. So to get here, and then they said to go back. They hope their plane can get out of Charlotte from the. And yes, I got raster. Second attempt for the 20 stroke for Sammy Strotter, an incomplete. Yesterday was a big day, not just play football history, but the fourth member of our team, Stacy Dales, the birthday girl yesterday. How about that? Well, what a, what a, thank you, ladies. Well, he only got, got to uh, Lindley once, right? Right. Here's Allen. Can't turn the corner. Good defense by the Aztecs. B.J. Williams. There we go. The play out and made the tackle. T.J. Williams is a really good defensive end. Had a terrific freshman season a year ago. He's number 90 in the white jersey. Freshman season a year ago. Had 45 tackles in his defensive end position. Opened up last week with nine more. Just a good sideline to sideline guy. You know, what a small quick off the end. This TV's been sitting a long time. So Foster will put it in the air. And he swings it complete to Allen. Puts on a couple of moves, but can't get free. Bumped out of bounds. Go to the 25 by Bonnie Holmes. 
may have this antenna hooked up to the wrong antenna's lead. I may have to spray this tuner. Seventeen years in storage, and this television is still working, although a little dirty and dusty. I really said, you know what, guys? Hop on my back. Let me carry this team for a while. That's what the Dodgers need. Somebody like Kemp or Lonnie or Lee to take that take charge role. Let's go on the Instagram website. They've got that Paul O'Neill like, Kurt Gibson like intensity that Joe Torrey just loves. Twenty years, Kurt Gibson put the Dodgers on his back. I said, if he's got that kind of intensity, stay away from the bat rack when he, when he makes them out. Again, the runners go. Ethier takes down to a low 5 nothing. Manny Ramirez coming up. Long through. Very upset the home plate umpire had hit that. But when you're hot, you get these calls, Josh. That's close. One third certainly takes it to strike. But another walk in the Arizona pitching staff. And here we go. how these light up inside the knob itself. Two hours of wipeout, back to back. All new ABC Tuesday. You're watching ESPN College Football on ABC, presented by Best Buy. And this TV smells dusty. I'd be willing to bet in 1956 when Paul McGuire was at Ursuline High School in Youngstown, Ohio, the quarterback didn't have arms like that. <laughs> you want to bet? 
I'll, I'll bet I'll bet you're right. <laughs> we, we ran to sing a wing and our quarterback was... Boston laid it up there, and Holmes was the man that went up to get it. And we leave you now with a salute to our skilled and dedicated colleagues behind the scenes who make our U.S. Open coverage possible. We'll see you tomorrow. There she is. I'll be back with part two to show you the inside of the set.